Disclaimer. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research before making investment decisions. Will Virgin Galactic survive long enough to launch the Delta spacecraft? In this video, we'll go through how much cash the company has left, how far the Delta project has progressed, and whether time is running out. If you've followed this channel before, you already know the basics of Virgin Galactic. So today, we'll skip the long backstory and focus on what matters now, the key developments in 2025, and what to expect heading into 2026. What is Virgin Galactic? Virgin Galactic is a space tourism company that went public in 2019. Its mission, fly paying customers to the edge of space. After years of delays, the first real flights took place in 2023 using the VSS Unity space plane. But Unity is now retired. Its final flight was in mid-2024. Since then, Virgin Galactic has shifted entirely to building the next-generation Delta-class spacecraft. 2025 so far. No flights, but cost cut. There have been no flights at all, neither commercial nor test, and almost no revenue. In Q1 2025, Virgin Galactic made just $0.5 million in revenue. But on the cost side, there was a noticeable improvement. Operating expenses dropped 21% compared to last year. The net loss shrank to $84 million. Free cash flow was negative $122 million. In other words, still losing money, but burning less than before. It's clear the company has entered a cash conservation mode, and for good reason. Cash and burn rate. As of the end of March 2025, Virgin Galactic had about $567 million in cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities. Sounds like a lot? Maybe. But they're burning through it fast. The company spent $122 million in Q1 alone. That includes operating losses and capital expenditures. The forecast for Q2 is slightly better, around $185 to $115 million other negative free cash flow. The company hopes to reduce this further, aiming for less than $100 million per quarter by the end of the year. If we average it out to $110 million per quarter, the current cash reserves would last roughly five quarters. That's until mid-2026. The Delta Class Timeline The Delta Class space plane is Virgin Galactic's big bet. It's designed to carry six paying passengers, fly up to eight times per month, and generate serious revenue, much more than Unity ever could. Assembly of the first Delta spacecraft began in March 2025 at Virgin Galactic's new facility in Phoenix, Arizona. According to the company, the first research flight is expected in summer 2026, with the first commercial astronaut flight to follow in fall 2026. So the timeline is tight. They need to go from zero to operational flights in about six quarters. And that's exactly how long the cash is expected to last. Dilution Risk – Raising Capital To bridge the funding gap, Virgin Galactic has already started raising more money. In 2024, the company raised $138 million through at-the-market share offerings. In Q1 2025, another $31 million was raised the same way. That means dilution. More shares on the market reduce the value for existing shareholders, unless revenues start rolling in soon. And if there are delays in the Delta program, more dilution is likely. What's ahead in late 2025 and 2026? The second half of 2025 will focus on completing and testing the Delta spacecraft. Then comes 2026, a critical year. The first test flight is scheduled for summer, followed by the first paying customers in fall. That's when real revenue could finally begin. Virgin Galactic still has around 700 customer reservations. That represents approximately $190 million in potential revenue, assuming $450,000 per ticket. Scale and Potential The Delta class is not just a replacement, it's a multiplier. Each Delta plane could fly up to 96 times per year. Six passengers per flight. That's 576 paying customers per craft per year. If each pays $450,000, that's over $250 million in annual revenue from a single space plane. Virgin Galactic aims to operate multiple deltas by 2027. If they can pull it off, the scale would be massive compared to their current business. Competition and partnerships. Competition in space tourism is heating up. Blue Origin and SpaceX dominate the headlines. 
Virgin Galactic plays in a different segment, suborbital hops versus full orbital launches, but the fight for attention and capital is real. To diversify, Virgin Galactic is working with Redwire on research missions. There's also a plan to expand operations to Italy in the future. These partnerships could bring new revenue streams beyond just tourism. In addition, Virgin Galactic CEO Michael Colglazier has hinted at potential future alignment with U.S. defense initiatives. In May 2025, he mentioned early discussions with aerospace stakeholders and referenced possible participation in missions aligned with the Golden Dome missile defense concept. However, there is no formal involvement or contract at this stage. Stock Price and Investor Mood Let's talk about the stock. Virgin Galactic's stock has fallen over 90% from its 2021 highs before adjusting for the 2024 reverse split. After the 1 for 20 split, the stock traded below $2 in mid-2024, but has since recovered slightly to around $2.80. The market is pricing in a high chance of failure, or at least major delays. But that also means the upside is huge if things go right. If Delta flies on time and commercial missions begin in 2026, this could be a deep value play hiding in plain sight. Summary, the situation. Virgin Galactic has cash. It has a plan. It has customers waiting. But the clock is ticking. They need to finish Delta, test it, and launch it before the money runs out. If they succeed, the company could finally shift from hype to revenue. If they fail, it could be game over. For investors, it's a simple but high-stakes equation. Time versus cash. What do you think? Will Virgin Galactic survive long enough to launch Delta? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy deep dive investment videos like this, hit that subscribe button.